Steam, like many other gaming distributor companies, have a stronghold on gaming right now. Steam was just found guilty in an antitrust lawsuit claiming that they have a monopoly on the game retail industry. So, so I think when I made this video not too long ago, it, I, I watched the whole video. It was an April Fool's joke. I've been saying this for a while now, and I think a lot of people really missed the concept of that video. It's not the fact that Steam is a monopoly, right? Like, monopolies can be good. It's it's not that they're bad. The thing that I'm trying to get across is when you have a, a monopoly, you don't want a monopoly on the gaming industry, especially. There's so many downsides to it versus the good sides. But the thing is, is that Steam, yes, Steam has a good product. They've done a good job at what they do. Okay, that's fine. That's all good and great. The problem that I'm seeing is when historically... Companies are really great. They're awesome. They do really good at the beginning. Then they end up becoming a, a monopoly. They end up getting lazy and then, and then they end up getting very content and they raise prices and all this bad stuff can happen. Okay, that's just some of the bad stuff. You can say what, whatever you want. You can you can curse me out. You can you can downplay what what I'm saying. Call of Duty used to be a very good game. Activision used to be a really good company. EA used to be a very good com company. And who else is there? Ubisoft used to be a pretty decent company. But then as time progresses, right, things start to get worse. Games started to get worse. Every title started to feel the same. Everything was all, it was, it's all about money now. It's all about how do we, how do we manufacture this? How, how do we make this go faster? That's why you don't want monopolies. Like you don't want Tesla to become a, a monopoly on the electric in, in, industry because eventually they're going to start saying, you know, we don't have to really do anything. All we have to do is just raise prices to, to make more more money and just keep giving them the same things. Apple's been doing this for such a long time with, with their iPhones. You can discredit me all you want, but at the end of the day, history repeats itself and it proves itself every single time. Okay. I'm not trying to talk like a conspiracy theorist, but just look at the past. Just look at what's just look at what's happened. Okay, there's still some innovation, sure, in the Apple iPhone in industry, but like there really is not that big of a difference besides the camera size on my phone versus my wife's new phone. Like this is an Apple. This this is a iPhone. I think 12 or something. She has like the 15. There really isn't that much of a difference from it besides the camera size, like the lens size and how great the camera looks. That's it. Samsung's the same way with their phones. I mean, honestly, Apple has a chokehold over the mobile, you know, iOS in, in industry as, as far as the App Store goes. Google has it for Android. You don't want that. Like, you do not want that. I, I don't know how much more I, I can stress that. You do not want one company or two or three, a few amount of companies to own or to control something you don't want that that's the that's the bad side of capitalism and i know most of you have left already i know most of people haven't even gotten this far in the video yet so though for the for the one or two people that that are still here i appreciate you but at the end of the day you do not want one because because what happens is now if a, a very few amount of people or companies start can start to control the whole I industry so why would steam and apple and you know Microsoft or whatever why would they want to compete with, with each other PlayStation or Microsoft let's let's say too let's give that example why would they want to compete with each other when they can just make more money off of you 